So usually I take pictures of the process and I got really into it. And you gotta forgive me, Charlie is deciding because I'm speaking that I need to speak to him. But anyway, I usually uh, take pictures at the very beginning, but I kind of got enthralled and inspired. I have received an email today on a question in regards to sculpting uh, from a fellow artist, and it made me feel good, and it inspired me to say, it's time to get back into sculpting. So that's what I'm doing. Um, here's where I'm at so far. And more pics to come. This is going to be a toddler. And hopefully I'll get through it and not get frustrated and say, okay, I give up. Which is what I have been doing lately. But hope you like it. Okay, so just to explain a little bit about what I'm doing, I'm in the process of rooting hair. And when you root and hair into clay, I do it on an angle such as like this, and you have to forgive my taping because I'm using one hand, but you pretty much want to go in diagonally as so. Must be um, random with how you put the hair in. Sorry. There we go. And now I know I'm over sticking certain places when you see clay coming up. So once you do that, you'll be pulling up. But before you pull up, make sure you press the clay back in. And then I'm not going to do it while I'm um, taping because I won't have the grip I need. But you basically will want to pull up. And as you're pulling up, you'll grab hold to what's been caught in and hold it as you pull the loose hairs out. Um, I'll come back for more. She's coming along nicely though. This is one of the longest journeys you would take in sculpting a doll and you know a lot of people can glue the hair in or would glue the hair in or would get a um yeah, go back so you can see it better. <laughs> but a lot of people would glue the hair onto the scalp. Um not so much do uh rooting and that's because it's just simply, as you can see, a whole lot of work. And gluing is fine. I've done it on some of my other dolls. But I've always liked how a person can change up a hairstyle with their dolls. And this hair is a, it's a synthetic, but it's a heat, more heat resistant type of synthetic. So if you decide you didn't want curly hair, you can straighten it out if you use on the low temperature uh, flat comb. So anyway, just wanted to share that little bit with you. But just remember as you're rooting, you want to press down. And as you're going along, you're going to press down because let me give a close up again. Say hi to Charlie. If you notice, you see some plugs and you can kind of work out those plugs see now you see it now you don't but you can work through those plugs if you press into the uh, clay so that's it for now I'll be back again later <laughs> 